Hey, let's share something tonight, folks. How you doing tonight? All right, I'm share with y'all. I love this comedy. This is where I get to come and say things on my mind. Uh, I tried other things in life. I was terrible at certain things. Like, I was a bad criminal. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, I robbed a store that I used to work at and called everybody by name in there by accident. <laughs> Open a safe, Keisha. <laughs> so they fired me from that occupation. <laughs> you know, I, I learned though, you know, that might be a joke, might not be. I went to college actually. Well, that's what my mom told everybody while I was locked up for robbing the damn store. <laughs> Naming names. She was embarrassed. She told them my, I had a full scholarship <laughs> to Penn. <laughs> And my major was criminal justice. She just, she just layered the lies. So I got to keep up with this shit now. I'm home at parties with college people that ask me questions. What fraternity were you in? I was in uh, Alpha Kappa Convict. I think the black fraternity members heard me say that too loud. because They formed a line and started, who, who, who. Why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat came on all of a sudden? And then eight more of them popped up. I got intimidated. I was like, uh, Alpha Kappa Convict. <laughs> that was this me sharing. That was before I changed my life, devoted it to my Lord and Savior, Parole Officer Bradoni. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I don't know, even with all that education, I, I got kids now, so I'm a grown man now. I think my oldest, he's five, I think he's smarter than me. You know, it's just I can tell. I put him on the computer to look at trains for 20 minutes while I jumped in the shower, and I got out the shower, he had an associate's degree from DeVry. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to get a job. <laughs> I'm proud of him, though. You know, my five-year-old is a long story with him. He was premature, he, he didn't, uh, he didn't cook all the way. <laughs> I can say that, that's my kid, okay? You know, and, and to, to make matters more entertaining, uh, if you will, uh, he's mixed, so his mom is white and I'm me. Okay, so he's like light-skinned, but since he didn't cook all the way, he don't have all his coloration that I think he should have. You know, and like, he's like, like, he's like almost translucent. You can almost see through this motherfucker, that's what I'm trying to say. He's like, a, Casper the Friendly Ghost version of me. That's what I'm saying, you know? And I can't take him anywhere because people look at me out in public with him when we're together like I got a stolen baby or something. Like we're not supposed to be together. There's always a racist person that want to verify that we're supposed to be together. They want to ask me questions under the guise of a compliment. Like, oh my God, he's so handsome. What's his name? What's his social security number? I gotta prove I know this motherfucker. This is my kid. I try to dress us alike so people get the idea that we together. But nobody take me seriously sliding around in a onesie. It's just cool. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> you know, I, I used to think, I started thinking he was racist because, you know, he, he didn't talk all the way like he should and he couldn't say certain words, like he couldn't say S words. And he likes sneakers, but it don't come out as sneaker, it come out as sneaker. You can laugh, it's fine, I don't care, I, look, I know what it is now, you know, it's, a, it's an impediment, you know, but the impediment kills me out in public when I'm trying to be a nice daddy and take my son shopping to Foot Locker in West Philadelphia and we walk in and it's a row full of sneakers over here and three black staff members over here and he walk in like, Daddy, look at all the different sneakers they have, all these sneakers. I'm like, no, no, you fucking up. We going to Payless now. No, daddy, I don't like cheap knickers. You heard your mama say that or something? <laughs> you know, now, he get me all kind of trouble. I got him at the playground. Now, we in a seedy neighborhood now, so he being hard-headed like white children do. <laughs> You don't want to leave the playground. Now, I got to climb a sliding board in a seedy neighborhood and grab this little white child and throw him over my shoulder and forcibly leave the playground while he's screaming, no, 
No, I wanted to stay. No. And then his shoe fell off. And he's like, no, Neeker. No. So I started running and shit. Now there's an Amber Alert out for my son. <laughs> Suspect ran off wearing a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm Josh Kosh. Add him with Josh Kosh comedy. Thank you. <laughs>